Hello everybody. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about your three options for your graphite project and also show you quickly the steps that you are going to take to complete this project. So one option you have is to draw a shoe. Any shoe that you have, all right, any shoe that you would like to do. You could also do a piece of clothing or a piece of fabric. I have a jacket right here. You can either hang your piece of clothing from a doorknob or a hook or drape it over something. Make sure you have quite a few folds happening when you do that. All right. Or you can ball it up and draw it that way. Just lay it on a table um, or the floor and draw it that way. With any of these, I want you to have a light source on your object, your piece of clothing or your shoe. So either find a lamp that you can set your item under or go beside a lit window. So like right now I could go lay my shoe on the counter back there and it would have a nice light source on it if you do not have a lamp that would work. I have a lamp right here um, so I'm going to use that but for your shoe I also want to show you how to position it so it looks 3D. If you draw your shoe directly from the side like this it doesn't look super 3D. I want you to turn it a little bit and draw it kind of from an angle so you get a little bit more of the other side of your shoe. So if I were to do it this way, you could see this edge on the back side of my shoe as well as the front side. So I want to see your shoe look a little more 3D. So don't just do a sideways view. Do an angle. You can go more from above you can go from the side, however you want to position it as long as it's not directly from the side like this. So if I were down here and looking at the shoe this way, or even from the side and just turning it a little bit. So your goals for this project is to make whatever you're drawing look as much like the object that you are drawing as possible. I don't want to see any outlines between um, shading or around your shoe because in real life, does this shoe have any black outlines around the edge of it? No, it doesn't. So I don't want to see any outlines on your project, whether you're drawing the fabric or the shoe. There should be no outlines, all right? When you're shading, always work from light to dark. So start with your 2H, work up to your 2B, and then work up to your ebony. So when you're shading, if something is really light, do not shade it in, leave it white. And then you can start working up to the darker parts. Make sure you use ebony. It will make your project look more finished. Also, don't forget the shadow on the surface that your object is sitting on. So whatever shadow is being cast on the table or the floor or the counter that it is sitting on, you need to add to your drawing. Make sure you fill as much of the page as you possibly can. Make sure you watch the videos that are embedded below. Uh, they are demos on how to go about drawing and shading your object. Um, yes, I did it on a shoe, but the same steps apply for the piece of fabric or piece of clothing that you may have chosen to do instead of the shoe. So now I'm going to position my shoe, turn on my light, and then start drawing my shoe. So your first step is to do your contour drawing of your shoe, and then we will get into shading.